Hello, 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 and welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. And if you're coming back, hey girl, hey. My name is Siani J of Lux Mom Style, and I'm proof that you don't have to trade style for motherhood. I'm here to show you how to believe in your flyness by sharing style inspiration and style tips so you can be the fly mama that I know is deep down inside of you. Today, I am going to be talking about two of my favorite bags, the Gucci Marmont bucket bag. I bought it originally in white, loved it so much, had to come back and buy it in black. It is definitely one, or they are definitely um, both of my go-to bags. They're so versatile, they go with so much. They he fit enough so they're not part of that super crazy mini bag trend where you can really only fit like a handful of items and not your phone. This phone fits my iPhone Pro Max 12 perfectly, no problem. You do have to get a little bit creative with how you put things in your bag. Uh, and I brought both of them out today so you could see how I fit different items in different bags. Cause some days, you know, I need things that I don't need for the other day. So you are going to get a double what's in my bag. And I'll also talk about how they've been holding up and how they've been aging and how I feel about them. Obviously, I still love them. Definitely not a regret. I would actually get this in another color. I really wish I would have gotten the red. So I may go and get the red pre-loved because of course all they have now are the white and the black. They did have this really cute baby blue, but I um, they, you can only buy them in boutique. So I have my, <laughs> and my sales advisor checking on it for me. So he should be keeping me posted when another color drops, but I would be fine with really having even the blue and the red. I do already have a light blue in my Prada backpack, but this bag is just gives off a different vibe. Still both crossbody bags, but I'm just looking at this and I'm kind of seeing that there's a couple marks on it. But the white one is the one I've had the longest, like I said. I believe I've probably had this bag for maybe three or four months. Yeah, a few months. I got it, I think I got it in December, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, I think I got it in December. And it's still doing really good. There is some, you know, I caught a couple dirty little marks inside, but I'm, I wear my bags. I don't treat them like they are, you know, art pieces because that's what happens when you wear things. There's wear on them. I definitely will wipe off things if I notice it, but on the inside, my goal right now is not to really resell. It's just to keep it as part of my collection and pass it on to my daughter. So I will wear it and, you know, treat it well, of course, but I'm still going to wear it. So in this one, I definitely usually wear it as a crossbody. So it's always going across my body. That is the go-to. Uh, and I usually just kind of have it off to the side. It has definitely softened up. The leather has softened up a little bit. So I can get it about ooh, this much closed at the top. So you got that much poking out. And if my phone is in there, I don't even know, will it still do that? Let's no. see. So I have my phone in there now. Let's see. It still closes up just as good with the phone. So the phone does not even come across the top. So I find myself just kind of tugging and pulling and tugging and pulling and tugging and pulling and tugging and pulling to get it closed. And then I come in and I straighten it out so it doesn't look all bent and disformed from the front. So I'm gonna try and do the same thing with the black, which is the one that I have only had for maybe a month or so. And it still closes up pretty good. Again, you have to come in and kind of stretch it out a little bit so it doesn't look too disformed, but still looks great. This one won't fit my phone and things won't really come out once you stuff it, but let me show you what it looks like with things in it. Okay, so we'll start with what I put in the black one. You can see 
There are a couple of card slots at the top that I will use to put extra cards that won't fit into my card case. But here you have the Balenciaga Hacker Project, Balenciaga Gucci Hacker Project card case. I'll put that in first. Here is my iPhone 12 Pro Max. I'll put that in next. Here is my perfume by Byredo. This scent is Ball de Afrique. <laughs> Great little travel case. I have some gloss by Fenty. This is the Fenty Cream, uh, Fenty Glow, the Boss Cream. I have my car key, my car key. I have a rose lip balm by Mario Badescu, one of my favorite lip balms, by the way. I also have some hand sanitizer because you know we need that. I have a Tide stick. If you're anything like me, this is clutch clumsy. I drop stuff often. This is comes in handy. If you are a lady like me, you have your pocket size poopery. So if you go poo, you spray it before and no one has to smell you. Okay. I also have my AirPod case. Bet you thought it was Vaseline, huh? Ah! And I also have my Chanel lotion. So I think that is about all that I can get in here. If I move some things around, I probably would be able to get it better positioned. Let me fix this card case because usually it can go in with no issue. So there we go. We close her up and she is ready to go. She is filled to the brim. I can even try and get her a little bit tighter so nothing comes out. Okay, I lied. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> okay, so that is what fits. Okay, in the white bag, we're gonna go backwards. So I have my AirPods in there, of course. I have the Slimmer lotion. This is one of my favorite lotions. <laughs> Let me turn it the right way. The L'Occitane. I have some Pure Gum. I have travel size of the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. Another Tide stick, gotta keep the Tide stick cause yeah, I'm messy. I have a car freshener just in case someone asked me about my business. This is a car air freshener for my business, Sick Apparel. Shameless plug, shameless plug. I also have my Henry mask. And I have my Balenciaga Gucci Hacker Project wallet. Love this wallet. I have some lip gloss by Pat McGrath Labs. And I have a little honey wipe, honey pot wipe, and a little panty liner. And I have my keys. And I have that Mario Badescu Rose Lip Balm, favorite. And I also have MAC lipstick because you put the lipstick under and add the gloss. This is Ruby Woo. It's Ruby Woo. And that's it. Tis all. That is what I fit in my bag. You got to see what I put in both of my bags on any given day. You'll see they're quite roomy. They are great. If you're on the fence about buying one, I definitely suggest that it is worth the purchase. A great bag that should last you for years and years to come. Very versatile, works with very many outfits. Of course, I will show you some of the times that I've worn mine.
Like I said, it's a go-to bag of mine. So if you like my video, feel free to comment below and let me know if you have the, Gar the Gucci Marmont bucket bag or if you plan on getting it, what color and how much do you love it? Also, let me know how you like the video. If you wanna see more videos like this, like I said, I do tons of unboxings. I have a couple more what's in a bag, what's in my bag videos coming up. And I love to share my style tips and inspiration so you can be a fly mama. Believe in your flyness. Bye. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you can get your notifications and never miss out on my videos. See you later. Mm -hmm.